My first year was when I was in year seven at school, actually. Um, I had the Red Beast, which was, I've still got that same bat that I used in year seven cricket. And I know, that was that was one of the great days. I think if you ask any year seven to get pulled out of school and get to go to Moorabbin and walk through the Kookaburra factory, um, yeah, I was jumping out of my skin. And um, I had to wait a few days to use that bat in a game. And um, yeah, I still actually have that exact bat. And yeah, it's a cool memory to have. Yeah, I mean, Lockie Dinger, who's now the bat maker at Kookaburra, um, been lucky enough that he's made some really good bats for me. And yeah, if you ever have any issues with the bat or anything that you need work on a reefer or anything brought up within a couple of days, Locke's great at um, yeah, answering any of your needs. And um, yeah, right throughout from year seven to now, um, it's been great to be able to use some great bats from Kookaburra. And yeah, probably went from year seven kid who couldn't hit it off to the square to actually having a decent bat that definitely helped my batting. Uh, probably for just a nice shaped um, probably 2.8 to 2.9, high middle, um, and yeah, mainly for me is just how the bat picks up and feels in your hand. Um, yeah, usually you know it's a pretty good piece of willow, so if it feels good, um, and yeah, I'm a little bit of a little bit of the one where if I get a bat that I like and it feels good, I'll happily um, tape it up for as long as I can and <laughs> until it literally won't work. So, and then on the caving side of things, I think. Probably the favourite pair of keeping gloves I've ever had was the retro kangaroo leather red ones and I, I've still got a pair of those um, <laughs> which is just slightly too big otherwise I'd be using them and getting re-taped every season.